Hello and welcome to this video where we're going to answer a question that biology students have been asking for years. What is the point of the Krebs cycle? Well, first of all, the Krebs cycle, unsurprisingly, given the name, is a cycle. And it's a cycle involving carbon compounds. And those carbon compounds are six carbon carbon compounds a four carbon carbon compound and a five carbon carbon compound and in order to keep that cycle going you've got to add in as you can see at the top here two carbon atoms and they come from an acetyl group which is carried on CoA in other words acetyl CoA and it's the acetyl group that we're interested in. CoA is much larger than two carbons, but the acetyl group enters the Krebs cycle. And as you can see, makes that four carbon compound into a six carbon compound. In every stage when carbon is lost, you lose CO2, which is a one carbon waste product. So as you can see, it's quite elegant, all the carbons add up. But that is not the point of the Krebs cycle. We also get a little bit of ATP out of the Krebs cycle. We get far more out of glycolysis and out of the electron transport chain, which comes next. So ATP isn't the point of the Krebs cycle either. What is the point of the Krebs cycle? Is this stuff reduced? NAD. And NAD is a hydrogen carrier. And reduced NAD means that hydrogen carrier has hydrogen on it. And it's reduced NAD, which is very important for the next stage. We also get another hydrogen carrier off which is reduced FAD and just for the sake of completeness uh, we'll include it there and the point of reduced NAD is that hydrogen can be used and split into a proton and an electron the protons are used in chemiosmosis to generate ATP the electrons are used in the electron transport chain so the Krebs cycle is absolutely vital in keeping respiration going and generate an ATP in the next year, next stage. So reduced NAD is the point of the Krebs cycle. Thanks for watching.